Hi everybody, this is Keith. Um, I my HD camera has no battery, so I'm doing this on my iPhone. Hope it's not too bad. This is my quick review of the LG LE32. I'm sorry, LG32 LE5400. I know you can't see it there, but I do. I figured I'd do a quick overview of what it's got. Um, pretty much everything that you could want in a 32-inch LED LCD TV. Um, you've got um, Netflix, which is what's playing there. I know it really not that you can't really see what, but this is Netflix. It's playing awesome. It's a 120 hertz TV, 32 inches. Like I said, it's got the LG internet apps on it, so it includes uh, Netflix, Vudu, YouTube, and Plexio. Um, so all that stuff's included along with Yahoo widgets. So you get all that stuff. Um, very, very thin TV, as you can see there. Um, there's, there's my credit card, and as you can see, it's uh, you know about about half the size of a uh, credit card, or in this case, an ID. Um, very good. It's got um, all kinds of ports on it, all everything you could possibly need. And you can see all the specs and stuff online. Uh, three USB, three HDMI. Um, it comes with adapters to plug it into the side of the TV so that you can run analog or auxiliary stuff. Comes the one thing I didn't really like about this remote. Uh, it comes with this remote. This thing is freaking huge. I got pretty big hands. This thing is mon mon. I mean, big. There's no way you're gonna be able to get to all the buttons holding it in your hand. You're gonna have to. You know, do this thing where you're flipping it up and flipping it down and doing all kinds of stuff with it. It's pretty big. I don't really like it that much. But it's got everything you need. It even includes a light. Um, allows you to do pretty much everything you would want to do on a TV. Um, but it's very good. Like I said, you got the internet apps. I know you probably really can't see it, but there you go, internet apps. And then, um, and then you can switch to the widgets. And there they go. It loads up. Um, also, this is supposed to be able to connect to your computer through your through your internal network, through your inter Ethernet cable or whatever. Um, I haven't gotten it to work with my computer, so I've called LG about it, and they don't really seem to have an answer for me. So it's supposed to be able to... Um, you're supposed to be able to go to My Media and play movies, music, and photos off of your computer, but it hasn't worked too well. So... Um, as you can see, here's the menus. Fairly intuitive. Um, very easy to read. Very easy to navigate. It's all right there, whatever you need. Um, the inputs menu, very, very easy to read. I mean, it's all, it's all very nicely done. All in all, very great TV. I've had awesome, awesome picture with it, even watching Netflix movies and even watching movies off of my computer through HDMI. Uh, so all in all, I'd definitely suggest this TV. Definitely uh, um, a great buy. Um, and it comes with everything you need right out of the box. I paid six, 600 for it on Amazon. So, um, you know, depending on where you get it from, that might, you know, that might depend on the price. They say it's uh, um, MSRP of 800 but there you go. Once again, very thin TV, a lot of features, great picture, um, weird remote. Um, check it out. Thanks. Have a good one.